been caving since about uh, 1997, really. That was the first time we ever went uh, on a full-blown caving trip. Uh, it's just a sense of adventure, going through a cave and not knowing what you'll find and uh, being able to get through tight passages. And we, we've done some vertical caving, too, that involves rappelling, uh, doing rappels as long as 300 feet on a rope and then having to climb back out on mechanical ascenders. Uh, well, most people's caving experience is limited to things like, you know, Carlsbad Caverns and you know, hiking through a cave that's been developed and has asphalt paths and lights and things like that. Uh, one thing people don't realize when they first start caving is it really is dark back there. <laughs> yeah, your own lighting system is all the light you're going to have. And if you turn the light out, it really, that's the first time I've ever been in absolute pitch black it was in a cave. The other thing is uh, the experience of crawling through tight spaces. Uh, somebody's not used to that. It can seem pretty claustrophobic. I am claustrophobic to a certain degree, but uh, I've kind of learned to overcome that somewhat. We're here at uh, Alabaster Cave, and it has a tight uh, squeeze called the, the birth canal. And I've gone through there several times. Nice dust. Last summer, uh, I was actually involved in a cave rescue at Fort Stanton. There, there was a church group had taken a bunch of scouts there. As it turned out, one of them had an accident, fell off of, uh, about a 20 foot uh, ledge, and busted himself up pretty good. And it took most of the night to get him out. And they called in a bunch of cave rescue types, and I, I helped out with the rescue. That was kind of it was interesting. coming through the birth canal. It's called the birth canal because there's a relatively long tube with a small orifice at the end that you kind of have to squeeze through. Unfortunately, this one doesn't dilate, so you just have to work your way through it, get your shoulders through first, and then uh, usually have to pop your hips up a little bit to get through the very last part. I've got to get my left arm up where I'm not going to get through. Uh, I don't know. are coming down. <laughs> well, bottom line about caving for me is that uh, it's, like I said, it's a male bonding experience. It's something to do with friends. Uh, it's not something I would necessarily enjoy doing it by myself, but uh, if you get out here with friends, it's, it ends up being quite an enjoyable experience. Ah, sunlight.